can solar energy be the answer to the world's energy problems? And is Sri Lanka truly ready to shift towards renewable energy? In 2016, the Sri Lankan government launched Surya Balasangramaya, an initiative that incentivized businesses and households to generate and sell energy to the national grid. As Sri Lanka's leading apparel manufacturer, MAS Holdings reinforced Sri Lanka's national shift towards utilizing renewable energy and resumed Project Photon in 2017, employing the roof space of their factories as a source of clean energy generation. Our first solar installation took place in 2008 at MS Intimates Thuruli, the world's first purpose-built LEED Platinum Certified Apparel Factory, and many other small installations followed. In 2016, the group's sustainability efforts took a big step forward, with all of the strategic business units coming together to form a group-wide sustainability plan. In 2017, Project Photon was launched, facilitated by the Surya Bala Sangramya program. Year on year, we have increased our solar capacity and currently it's a shade under 20 megawatts. We also have another 6 megawatts signed off for commissioning in early 2022 and we expect this journey to continue towards 30 megawatts and beyond. Phase 1 of Project Photon is recognized as the largest multi-site roof-mounted solar initiative in Sri Lanka, stretching from Kilinochi to Kogala, covering 1 million square feet across 18 roofs of MAS's facilities island-wide. So we are now standing on uh, the roof of MAS Fabrics Matrix. This is the largest single roof uh, in the country at the moment. It's, uh, it's, as you see, it's huge. It's a 10 acre roof. So if you take this in a national context, there's about 370 megawatts of rooftop solar installed in the country declared by the authorities. And this is a moving target, the 370. So if we do a, a, a comparison, we stack up against the, the national figures. Our phase one alone is about 4.5% of the national installations. Phase two will bring it up to about 6.5% and uh, phase three will take it up uh, to 8% of the, of the national figure. Of 40 local and international EPC contractors, Fenton's Limited, Nikini Automation Systems Private Limited and International Construction Consortium Private Limited were employed for Project Photon. This is the largest uh, solar project that was taking place in Sri Lanka and our main role was designing, building and afterwards maintain the systems which were scattered in the northern, western and the southern parts of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka being strategically located 7 degrees north of the equator, blessed with abundance of sun power all throughout the year. Therefore, after hydropower, solar power is the best suited renewable energy technology for a country like ours. There is no uh, fuel requirement or anything to that effect when it comes to a solar power investment. Therefore, it can generate electricity over a span of over 25 years without much cost being incurred. Solar and renewable energy is definitely the way forward where I would say Sri Lanka is just starting. The sun gives off more energy than we'll ever need and the only limitation is our ability to convert it to electricity in a cost-effective manner. The challenge solar brings is that the existing storage technology is far too expensive and does not financially sense make any sense for the investor. The battery storage technology has to be established fast and it has to be made affordable to all. The climate crisis is at a tipping point and action is needed now. There is a long way for us to go and innovation and collaboration are critical to scale up these efforts in order to create systemic, sustainable change. With initiatives like Project Photon strengthening Sri Lanka's venture into solar power, we are making large strides on our journey towards utilizing more clean, emission-free and renewable sources of energy in the coming years.